Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. And this is a sports-related video. This is a combat sports-related video. Like I explained to y'all before, I mean... You know, before all of this music and YouTube stuff, I mean, besides me playing football, I was also involved in martial arts. Like, I was I was in martial arts for like a total of eight years. So when it comes down to combat sports, I'm a fan. Now, am I interested into being a professional fighter? Not at all, but I'm a fan of the sport, though. The question that I have for y'all is, like, one one of these, like, fighters, one of these boxers is, is, like, also a YouTuber. They pretty much got known for being on YouTube for their YouTube content. The other one, on the other hand, is a mixed martial artist, but they also have stepped into the boxing ring to box Floyd Mayweather, and they ended up losing to Floyd Mayweather. But this professional fighter confidence is like through the roof. This professional fighter is like mad confident. And unfortunately, right now, he's being accused of rape. But I got a, I got a question for y'all. Who would win in a boxing match? Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor. My fellow Jake Paul fans, my fellow boxing fans, my fellow mixed martial arts fans, my fellow Conor McGregor fans, who would win in a fight between Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor? Yeah, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. I'm going to give you my answer like I do as always. Conor McGregor is a skilled mixed martial artist. Conor McGregor is like mad confident in his in his skills and in his abilities. Conor McGregor ha has gained recognition for being one of the best in mixed martial arts. And he stepped into the boxing ring to go up against Floyd May Mayweather. To tell you the truth, to be honest with you, I was actually going with Conor McGregor to win against Floyd Mayweather, but Floyd Mayweather won. But but Jake Paul going up against Conor McGregor in a boxing match, I got Jake Paul winning. I got Jake Paul winning the fight. Possibility, Jake Paul probably could knock out Conor McGregor in a boxing match. Because that's the thing about it. What people don't realize is that when it comes down to mixed martial arts and when it comes down to boxing, even if the mixed martial artists stand up, like like their speciality that they use like for stand up, you know, like when it comes down to, to like, like stand up, but you know, like, but before they get like their opponent on the ground, before they start grappling, their stand up could be boxing, or their stand-up could be kickboxing or Muay Thai, maybe Savat. You know, may, may, maybe in their stand-up they could use Taekwondo or maybe they could use Karate. And that's another thing. One of the things that I noticed about mixed martial arts, and this is no disrespect, but it seems to me that some of these mixed martial artists don't really like know like some of the information about some of these styles because yeah like yeah because i noticed like in the ufc like bruce buffer when he does his his um like when he does his introduction when he introduces the fighters like when he get when he when when he explains the fighter's main style he'll like say that this fighter is a karate fighter or a taekwondo fighter I mean, to be professional, it's better to use practitioner because in martial arts, when you walk into a martial arts studio, when you go into a karate dojo and you say that it's a taekwondo class, it's disrespectful. Same thing when you go into a taekwondo class and you say that it's a karate class, it's disrespectful. And, and, and yeah, to be professional, ju just just for a respect thing, it's better to say like practitioner. And that's another thing, too. I remember one time I heard John Bones Jones talking about a mixed martial artist being a black belt in Muay Thai. 
I mean, f f far as I know, Muay Thai doesn't really have a belt system. Now, if if the, if the if the instructor if the instructor like believes in the belt system, because you do have some of these kickboxing instructors that do believe in the belt system and they and they like rank their students they rank the the class the students in the class with those like you may have some people that say that they're a black belt in kickboxing but other than that when it comes down to kickboxing kickboxing doesn't really focus on a belt system neither does muay thai neither does survive but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a, a boxing match between Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor. I got Jake Paul winning. Possibility Jake Paul could knock Conor McGregor out. But but I mean, I don't think it'll be like a first round knockout. I'm I'm pretty sure like Conor McGregor would be able to last. But 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 that's the thing like in mixed martial arts it's different. You're not standing up during the whole time like and in, in, in boxing, all you depend on is these. You depend on these. This is all you depend on in, in a boxing match. But you see in mixed martial arts, you depend on these. You put you put you depend on your feet, kicking, punching, grappling, double leg takedowns, single leg takedowns, submissions, rear naked chokes, arm bars, guillotine chokes. It's all mixed up. Yeah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, <clears throat> it's all mixed up. And that's another thing, too. I'm pretty sure that, 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 I'm pretty sure some mixed martial artists probably don't even know this, but Jiu-Jitsu is actually a Japanese martial arts. I mean, yeah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Royce Gracie, he invented Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's the founder of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but Jiu-Jitsu is actually a Japanese martial art. It originated from Japan. Judo is a Japanese martial art, and just like with karate, karate is Japanese. Karate is Japanese for empty hand. Taekwondo is Korean. See, 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 see. Some some of these mixed martial artists, you know, they don't really like know know like the history, and it's not all, but some of them, you know, I mean. It's, it's, it's all a respect thing when it comes down to being in martial arts because you do got some mixed martial artists like Benson Henderson. He's a black belt in Taekwondo. Anderson Silva, he was a black belt in Taekwondo. Um, George St. Pierre, he's a black belt in Kyokushin Karate, which in Kyokushin Karate, that's a style of karate which is full contact sparring. But yeah... But yeah, I, I got Jake Paul winning. I got Jake Paul winning against Conor McGregor in a boxing match. Again, my fellow boxing fans, my fellow Jake Paul fans, my fellow mixed martial arts fans, my fellow Conor McGregor fans, who y'all got winning in a fight between Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor? Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new track, I'm Not Like Other Humans, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.